Brandon the Flake, Half Moon Day. Coming over here, no pants, got stains on the shirt. You know how we roll these quarantine days, homie. But I wanted to wish you all a happy 420. B -b -b Blaze it up! Okay, I know this isn't the 420, 2020 that everyone expected. Hell, I know this isn't the year 2020 everyone expected. I remember seeing those Facebook posts don't deny it, you know, you put it up there. 2020 is going to be amazing because da, da, da. nothing to celebrate. We got nothing to celebrate. We're in the middle of the pandemic. Maybe in the middle of this pandemic, you lost someone. That's nothing to celebrate. Maybe you had a natural disaster rip through your city. That's just shit on top of shit. Maybe, like Mr. L, you were just sitting there trying to quarantine with your three little hearts and just tyranny came knocking on your door violating your civil rights. Well, that's not something, something to celebrate. I get it. Half Moon Day is trying to give you, anybody, an outlet and hope. The hope is gonna come in the form of new music. You want something to look forward to this week? New music by Half Moon Day, April 24th, 2020. That's this Friday. Go on there, look at the other videos, look at some of the songs we have. I'm from the era of Napster, so I understand if you're not going to buy it, that's fine. I'm not, and if you can't buy it, you can go to Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, cool. If you just want to listen to it and check out the music, thank you for the views, thank you for your time and attention. That's something hopefully you're looking forward to giving you hope from after the day. Now, outlets. It's okay to go onto our Facebook page or our TikTok or our band page on Facebook and type out if you just need to out like, this is bullshit, this is killing my family and this is making things hell. If you need to just rage out, I'm here for you, okay? I have uh, plenty of little discussions and, and tweets and uh, status updates that I do, they're thought provoking, sometimes they start a little discussion and if you want to participate, that's cool. You don't have to be a Republican or Democrat, you can be, be not, not into politics, you can just have a moral compass or a lack thereof. It doesn't matter to me, I'm just trying to engage with people and trying to see you know, what we can do to keep our minds active and our thoughts um, you know, rattling in our, our heads a little bit. So if you need an outlet, come to me, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. I'll try to share them if I can, if you think it's appropriate or not. Now what I do want to talk about is these protests. These protests are getting out of control. You got people who don't even know tyranny sitting there like, this is tyranny, I have to stay in my house. No, 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 when you get dragged out of your house at gunpoint, then come talk to me about tyranny, okay? But right now, I'm seeing these fat, stupid bitches waving Confederate flags, wearing swastikas, and I saw this one fat, ugly bitch like, people die all the time. Open up the businesses, open the economy, people die. So what? So what the fuck? So what? Are you dumb, cunt? Are you just dumb? Do you not understand that businesses close all the time? Not every mom and pop flourishes. Some of them go under. Hell, big franchises like Sears, they close their doors. Where the hell is uh, Toys R Us? Where's the Toys R Us at? They've closed their doors. Blockbuster, that thing went the way of the Buffalo years ago. So businesses close all the time. Let them close, let them close. Life isn't gonna restart for you if you die, okay? This isn't the zombie apocalypse, this is the COVID pandemic. It's the it's different, okay? So if you were sitting there like, so what, people die. So what, businesses go under. And if you're a business owner and you're trying to rush to get your business open and you open it and your employees or your customers get sick and die, you're financially ruined. You're gonna get sued, your business is gonna go under anyway, and you probably won't be able to make a new one or start a new one. At least right now, if your business does go under, take a breather, work on some things, work on some new ideas, and when this is all over, maybe go back at it. It might not be the ideal situation, but it's better than the death. So stay inside your house, stop worrying about the dollar sign being more important than human life. It blows my mind that people are thinking this way right now. It's not a good thing. So that's kind of some of the stuff I'm gonna be addressing this week on the pages. If you have something to say against that, or if you're with me, join us. Have hope, have an outlet. Get things done if you're doing your side hustle right now. Get it done. I'm trying to get my side hustle done. Maybe you try to get yours. So those are the announcements for the week. 
Have a good 420. You too.